what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so i have a very interesting video today because i have a box over here and throughout i want to say one to two years uh, i've been just adding more cards in this box um i have i just have like zero time um maybe if there's like an interesting uh card that i know um i would probably just like list it on my tcg player store anger collections uh shameless plug but we're talking about freaking foreign cards man freaking foreign cards and as a seller for oh, oh my god three years now um i highly 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 recommend staying away with these men as far as like buying and then selling um just just stay away man i know there's a couple of um i remember back in the day when when these cards are are highly sought after uh i mean i'm not saying that there's no demand on these cards anymore but it's uh it's very niche man um there's only like a couple back in the day these were the the extra variant on your deck or or like collection uh, people collect these foreign cards uh but today you know modern you know game pieces era <laughs> you know um this is like gone man it's it's definitely gone um back in the day to bling out your deck look at this languish right um there's there's definitely market for these i believe this is sour of temptation um i just didn't have um time to sort list and like i'd rather just focus on like i'd rather look for these cards like sort look at these read the bones you know sign in blood you know they're more um much easier and i know it's it's going to sell much faster and this is the problem with foreign cards today uh because yeah there's still like people um like and look for these cards but uh it's very niche man uh definitely very niche See, i got like got like foil cards over here uh oh this, this is actually english uh but for the most part these are foreign cards see uh this one very played in a zombie demir right yeah azorius charm right there um what's what's funny is like uh the variants back in the day like like these right um if you see just the art you kind of already know what you know what's the ability what's what what is it does you know like but but today you know like the extra variant you know those like fancy foils fancy uh extended border like you <laughs> you'll have to like either read it or look it up in your phone man look at this siege gang commander look at that Everyone knows Siege Can Commander, right? No matter what what kind of text it is, you know? Um, Verdant, uh, I don't know, man. Some cat in, what is this, Dark Steel? Um, but yeah, so uh, all I'm saying is, oh, this is actually a good card. Huh. Except I have like zero, um, zero time for this. So it's just accum accumulating like throughout the years, man. Um, but all I'm saying is, look at this, Solemn Simulacrum. Look at that. Everyone knows Solemn Simulacrum, right? So even if like you put um you put these in a in the deck, right? Everyone knows just seeing the art, right? So there's still definitely um markets for these, but it, it'll take time, man. So this is the problem with these uh foreign cards. Um I think the, the only upside is um most are definitely, definitely cheaper than the English uh counterpart. But that the you know the the sell through rate the demand for these is like super low man, super low. Uh, these are actually the Ikoria, the Paradise Druid, right? Japanese version. Yeah, yeah. The Japanese one. Oh, that, that's a cute. Uh, remember these Ikoria? I think I have a foil foil version of this. Uh, drawn together. What is that? Oh, Seijiri Step, I believe. World Wake. Oh yeah, step links. Look at these. Um, yeah, like I said, man, some of these cards are 
you know, very recognizable. So even if you are playing a foreign card, everyone knows, man. Uh, Ghostly Flicker. So, oh, uh, this is actually a good card. Uh, some some type of scout, Glade Cover Scout. So, yeah. Uh, oh, what is this? Entreat the Angels. But, yeah, so as a seller, man, as a seller, um, I know this is still like there's still value in these cards man there's still value uh but it will take time man it will take probably not even double probably triple or quadruple time uh selling these cards i i highly highly suggest to to stay away in these like if you see a collection right and there's like a whole binder um i would rather just not buy these at all man um just just kind of like stay away oh underworld dreams look at that uh let's see yeah so i highly suggest to just stay away in these play the gop look at this oh you got a sign too look at that nice look at that i could probably make a boros uh popper right you know is that landfall landfall boros is that is that a thing in popper <laughs> um but yeah, so I highly suggest to ooh look at that. Definitely know that. Rhino. See Rhino. But yeah, so I highly suggest on just not uh buying these uh these cards uh as, as a seller, you know, as a seller, because it will definitely take time selling selling these, you know. Uh, but as a collector, as a player, uh if you're looking for a cheaper version, look at this. Knight of the White Orchid, right? Everyone knows how how does it that you know what what you know like the, the ability and what is it though you know it's you know you, you can definitely substitute uh, with these, uh, but the biggest problem with that is um, not many players knows Lava Claw Reaches, man. Not everyone knows uh, like these cards, Hissing Quagmire, you know Chandra, uh, Honor of the Pure, you know. Um, not everyone knows like some of these cards ability uh track toss, you know uh, so it's it's like it's harder for for them to recognize when you're playing in a commander game or or even like in the in the tournament so you know it's it's definitely not worth it back in the day it's uh much easier oh what is this tempered steel um ooh, zombie token this Chandra declaration in stone you know some of them I mean, rattle chains right yeah yeah there's 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 actually a, a good amount of uh decent cards here uh, that i haven't gone through um i don't know if you guys are interested interested in in these um like i said i haven't like really listed any of this for a very long time man um i don't know i was like probably like try to sell all this in like a whole bulk stuff you know <laughs> but there's definitely some cards here man there's definitely burnish art you know oh look at that that's actually a very good gulping card look at that telepathy got some signet i mean come on I mean, everyone knows the signets right you know um yeah that's the only thing loxodon smiter oh this is actually in english why is it over here the damage oh my god why is it over here <laughs> Magnetic mine. Oh wow, there's a couple English cards here. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. Even English English language. I, <laughs> I probably thought it was, was this was like foreign. Oh man, Natuku Shade man. Classic. Look at that Japanese version. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll probably go go gonna go through with this again, but overall, uh as a seller, um, I would just stay away with uh with foreign cards. Um, because the time, you know, it's very niche nowadays in the game pieces era. Um, and as a collector, as a, you know, player, um, it's it's going to be, like, difficult uh, to play with these against other players, other, you know, commander players, because you don't know, like, not everyone knows, which I don't even know what this card is. <laughs> um, but, yeah, not everyone, ooh, like, this one knows everyone. You know, everyone knows. I mean, come on, everyone knows that card. <laughs> um, Blight Herder, Pentavus. You know, some some are recognizable, but even then, 
Like you'll have to like shit, what is this? Bane fire, man. What is this? Fuego. Devastator. Look at that. So it's it's you're gonna have to like Google it, show it to like other new players, you know. Um and like I said, it's it's very niche uh, nowadays in playing foreign cards. Um so I would I would hide needle spires, right? I think. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of good cards here. Uh let's see. I don't even know what's this. Nixitid? Nixithid, I think. Oh my god, I got so much foreign cards here, man. I don't know. Like I said, there's still value on them. But man, oh man, it's it's so hard. It takes a while to sell them. It takes a longer time to sell them. So that's it. I, I just want to like showcase you guys a couple of these uh, random foreign cards here. Uh, there's so much, so much cards here that I haven't gone through. Oh, Hordling Outburst. Foreign Hordling Outburst. Look at that. I mean, everyone knows Hordling Outburst, but as a new player, I mean, I was like, what is that? And if, you, if you cast that, you'll have to like look it up, you know, but it's a cool promo. You know, a cool promo. You know, it's a foil shooting star. Um, it's good on in your deck. I don't know if it's cheaper, but for the most part, um, that's why you're buying foreign cards. Uh, you're trying to get uh, the cheapest, you know, good looking, you know, bling out your deck, right? Uh, what is that? Armor. So yeah, I just I just want to make a, make this video because uh, I think I, I got a couple of questions uh, about these um, uh, foreign cards. Uh, when I showcased it in one of my videos, uh, they have like a box of this foreign cards, man. Um, definitely, definitely a, a good video uh, to, to kind of like showcase uh, because especially in the game pieces era, um, this used to be um, the other variant, the how to bling out your deck. You know, it's, it's like foreign cards were the bling on your deck. But nowadays, not anymore, man. Not, definitely not anymore. So, yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video. And with that, we're going to end with, let's see. I want to I wanna end with one, one card that we all know. No, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. Uh, Relic Seeker. We know that, right? Uh, let's see. Oh man, there's no good card. Uh, uh secret away. There you go. Eh, kind of good. With that, anger out, boys. Peace.